So do me a favor, get out your highlighters. Okay. Now that we have the highlighters, let's start solving this. Okay, so I have choices of what I can do. I can, so I can solve by, let me zoom that out, I can solve by elimination. When I solve by elimination, it's x, y equals number. I can solve by substitution, and that means this plugs into there. I can solve by equal values, which means I set this equal to this. So let's look at the first one. Oh, look, x, y equals number. That is elimination. So I want something to go bye-bye by adding. Let's see if I can do that. All right, let me zoom it in. So if I add them, I get negative x plus 6y. So if you look here, nothing got eliminated. So that's not going to work. So now I have to multiply. So what I'm going to do is whatever this one is, I give it to this. Whatever this one is, I give it to this. And there needs to be one negative. There's one negative. Now, rainbow bow and rainbow bow. Okay, so I get 6x plus 9y equals 27. Negative 6x plus 6y equals negative 12. Now, I can add to eliminate. Bye bye. 15y equals 15. Divide by 15 y equals 1. Now I have my y. I just need to get my x. So I'm going to take my y and I'm going to plug it into y. 2x plus 3 times 1 equals 9. 2x plus 3 equals 9 minus 3 minus 3. 2x equals 6. Divide by 2. x equals 3. Okay. So I've solved that one by elimination. Let's look at the next one. So I look over here. I have choices again. I can check elimination. Elimination means x, y equals number. No, that doesn't work. I can solve by equal values, y equals y equals, or x equals x equals. x equals, but not x equals. So that one's out. Ah, substitution, where I take this and I plug it in there. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to plug it in there. Let me show that with yellow. I'm going to take that and plug that in there. So I go y minus all of this equals 4. There's an imaginary negative 1. Rain, bow, y minus 8. A negative and a negative make a positive equals 4. Draw my line. Same, same. And now I solve like I normally would. Add 8. Divide by 3. Y equals 4. All right, I got my Y. Now I need to get my X. So I'm going to take my Y. I think it's easiest if I take this 4 and I plug it in right into the first one. So I'm going to go 8 minus 2 times 4. Always multiply first. That was my x. And I'm good to go. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, let's check. Elimination. x, y equals? Nope. Substitution. x equals plug in. y equals? No. So that means, ah, there we go, equal values method. What do we do when it's equal value method? We take this and set it equal to that. So negative 1 half x plus 7 x minus 8. I don't know about you, but I don't like fractions. So whatever this bottom number is, I'm going to multiply it to everything. 2, 2, 2, 2. And remember, everybody has a job. It's either buy, buy, or multiply. No, bye, bye. No, bye, bye. Now this is like you knew it before. This one goes over here. This one goes over here. Negative 3x equals negative 30. And now it's just like you've done before. I have my x. Now I need to plug it in and get my y. So I'm going to take this. I don't know about you, but I don't want that fraction, so I'm not going to look at it. And then I get y equals, sorry, you can't see that, 10 
minus 8, y equals 2, and I'm good. So now, let's, let's summarize really quickly. Let me zoom out. So for the first one, we used elimination. For the second one, we used substitution. For the third one, we used equal values. For the fourth one, I think I'm going to go right back to elimination. X, Y equals number. X, Y equals number. Let me zoom in. Let's remember how to do that. Whatever this is, give it to this guy. Whatever this is, give it to this guy. And I have to make sure there's one negative, so I'll give it to this one. Rainbow bow, rainbow bow. Negative 63x minus 70y equals 14 times 7, negative 98. Rainbow bow. Now I get my pink pen like I did last time. Add to eliminate. Negative 25y equals negative. I'm not feeling very confident here. I think it's negative 125, but I'm not feeling good about it. Yep. Okay. If you're not sure, use your calculator. How many quarters in a buck 25? Five of them. So now that I got, let me zoom out a little bit. I got my y. Plug it in. Get your x. Take my y. Plug it in. x plus 25 equals negative 3. And now this is no big deal. And I'm done. Be careful of your negatives and positives. All right, we got a big old word problem. Let's see what we got here. You know, who cares if you can't read, okay? Um, let's see here. I got money, money, money. All right, let's go 2x plus 3y equals 56. Money plus money equals money. And then let's look here. Um, it says blue paint comes in a 5 ounce. Oh, this is 2 ounces. They messed with us. So we've got a 5, a 2, and a 74. 5, 2, 74. Okay. Now what I need to do is make sure, let's see, so the 5 is the 2. All right. This, to me, looks like elimination. So whatever this guy is, give it to this guy. Whatever this guy is, give it to this guy. One of them needs to be negative. Rainbow bow. Rainbow bow. Negative 10x minus 15y equals negative 280. 10x plus 4y equals 148. Add to eliminate. Negative 11y equals negative 132 divided by negative 11. Y equals 12. Now, if I go like this, that's not okay because it's real life. So it says y equals 12. Okay, my y is with the 3. Okay, let's see here. Looks like we see colors, blue and silver. So silver is 2, 3, okay? So that means that it's 12 ounces of silver. That's a hard one. Now I'm going to take the Y, plug it in. I plug it into that one because I felt like it. x plus 24 equals 74. And now this is exactly what we've done before. I encourage you to not just copy what I did. If you just copy what I did, you're not practicing for yourself. 10 ounces of blue. All right, let's check out the next page. That was a lot. Okay, solve the system by any method. Whatever this guy is, multiply it to this guy. Whatever this guy is, multiply it to this guy. Rainbow bow, rainbow bow. I'm going a little bit faster on this because you should be pausing the video, doing it yourself. Oops, 50. Oops, that should be negative, sorry. Negative, negative, positive. 
You should be doing this yourself to make sure you understand. If you just copy mine, you are not going to learn. Uh-oh, I don't have anything left on side that side. So all I'm left with is 0, and that's 140. Has 0 ever equaled 140 in your life? No. So it is no solution. There are no answers that will ever work. Okay. Um, let's try this one. This one says solve using the equal values method, but you know what? I don't think I want to. I'm going to do it by substitution. So I'm going to use substitution. I don't want to follow their rules. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to plug it in. 2 times 5 over 2x minus 2 minus 5x equals 8. That's a difficult one. Let me zoom it in. So if I'm going to rain bow, when I rain ba by 5x, when I bow, multiply. Okay, that's gone. So I get negative 4 equals 8. Has negative 4 ever equaled 8 in your life? Never. No solution. There is no answer that will work. All right, let's do the same thing, but it's telling me to do equal values. We're going to do substitution. Take this, plug it in. Again, you should be pausing the video. If all you're doing is copying, you are not going to learn. Okay, when I rain, 4 goes into 2 2 times, and 2 times 5 is 10. Now, 4 times 2 is negative 8. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is a negative times a negative. That's a positive. Equals 8. Now that's gone. 8 equals 8. How often does 8 equal 8? On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every day. So that means you're going to write infinite solutions. That means no matter what value you, you use, it will work. Okay, let's come down here, and I want you to see. See how it says no solution? That means your two lines will never touch. This is like the 3 equals 8. Infinite solutions. That means that 3 equals 3, like 8 equals 8. That means they're the exact same thing. And then one solution is like when you get a point. All of these right here. One solution, one solution, one solution, one solution one solution. Okay? All right, your homework. When you're doing this, this is your box. So this is your homework, and this is your box. Write that down. This one, you're either solving by substitution. So you're all of these, you're either going to use elimination, equal values, or substitution. Okay? This one is solve, and this is when you go Okay, so that is also going to be homework. Please do your job. And that's it.